What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MinSwap, how to add liquidity and how to yield farm on the MinSwap. So first we need to go to MinSwap.org and then we need to press on enter app. Once this window is going to appear, first thing we need to do, we need to connect our wallet. Then this window is going to appear. We need to choose our wallet for this video tutorial. I'm going to be using Naomi wallet. I'm going to press on it. And then I'm going to press on access and that's it. My Naomi wallet is connected. So just a quick overview of MinSwap. On the first page, you're going to be able to see every single pair that is listed on the MinSwap. Then there is add liquidity and then your liquidity and zap. We're going to talk about this slightly later. Then there is a tab trade. If you press on the trade, you're going to be able to swap tokens here. I already made a video about how to purchase Carnacopia or Copy tokens on it. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Then there is pool. You're going to be able to see right here, total value locked, volume, LP fees, and every single pair here. And then farm. That's what we're going to be doing. Basically, we're going to be providing liquidity and then we're going to farm LP tokens here for this video tutorial. I'm going to be farming Pavia tokens. And then there's orders tab. In the orders tab, you're going to be able to see if you ever had any orders processed with MinSwap, they're going to be listed here. Now we're going to go back to the overview and right here we're going to press on add liquidity button. Then this window is going to appear. It already knows how much ADA I have in my wallet. And then the second token we're going to be providing is going to be Pavia. So choose Pavia. Then we need to set amount how much we're going to be providing. And let's say, for example, you would like to provide liquidity, but you only have one pair, let's say ADA. What you can do in this case, you can press on zap. And what it's going to do, it's going to take half of your ADA. It's going to exchange to another token. Let's take a look at it. As you can see right here, it says zap in. It's easy way to provide liquidity when you only have one token of the pair. And then please note, zap might cause a small amount of slippage. And then you can press cool, let's do it, or I'm good. So for this video tutorial, I'm not going to use zap because I already have second pair and that's going to be Pavia. Then I'm going to go here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to choose Pavia and I'm going to select max amount. So I'm going to provide my entire Pavia balance into liquidity. And then right here, we just need to press add liquidity. Then this window is going to appear and it's going to take four additional or actually a little over four additional Cardano tokens for all of the necessary fees. And then we're going to press on sign. And then we need to type our password here. Then confirm. And that's it. Transaction is submitted. Now we just have to wait until transaction is going to go through. Okay, that didn't took long. Looks like 708 is gone and all Pavia is gone as well. And then you can see in orders, there is a little bubble appeared that's stating I have one order. If we press on it, currently my order is in the queue. Now we just have to wait until this is going to get processed. Once the order processed, status changed to complete. And now we can press on farm. Also, if we go back to our naming wallet, we're going to be able to see that we have one Pavia token and then this amount appeared. Looks like this is our LP tokens. Now we need to go back to farm website. And then in here, we need to press on stake. And then right here, it says each stake or withdraw auction will automatically harvest your reward. So right here, we need to set amount. I'm going to set to 100% and then I'm going to press on stake. I have to pay another two Cardano fees, sign, then password, and then confirm. Transaction is submitted. Okay, and once transaction is going to go fully through, you're going to be able to see your staked LP tokens. And so far, I earn 1% of mint token, and then I can harvest at any time. To start yield farming on MintSwap, first you have to provide liquidity. It's either you have one pair or two pairs, and then you're going to have to stake your LP tokens in farming pair. And this is pretty much it. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget subscribe. Thanks for watching.